Hey folks, Sayer G from greenmedinfo.com, and it's been a while since I've reported on some of the more popular content on our platform. This article has been viewed over a million times, and for good reason, because it covers the research we've accumulated on our database, which has about 85,000 studies at this point, that shows you there has been research on ways that you can take plaque out of your arteries. And that's really exciting because statin drugs, which are multi-billion dollar industry unto itself, basically have over 300 adverse effects. Only a few of those are actually on the black box warning label, such as memory loss and its ability to dysregulate blood sugar. Now, the reality is there are natural approaches that are time-tested, safe, affordable, easily accessible, and basically have been used since the beginning of time. So let's cover those because not only are they time tested and if you will, folklorically validated, there's science now supporting it. And that's what people really love to hear. So here's a study on B vitamins that showed that using what are known as methylation cofactors, B12, B6, folic acid, they were able to see measurable reductions in the intima media thickness of the arteries. That's the middle portion of the artery. And that is a very important measurement because as that intima media swells, it blocks off the lumen or opening in those arteries. And that's what causes hypertension and eventually can lead to plaque breaking off, which can cause obstruction and heart attack. And so this is one of the studies that shows that just very basic B vitamin therapy can go a long way. One quick qualification is if you use a formula that has B12, make sure that it doesn't have cyanocobolamin. Cyanocobolamin is cyanide containing. You want the form that would actually bind to cyanide, which is used in the cases of cyanide poisoning, like hydroxocobolamin or methocobolamin. These forms uh, do two good things. They actually donate, in the case of methocobolamin, a methyl donor that can methylate you know, tissues, for example, that have been harmed by homocysteine and heal them. And it can bind to cyanide as well as, of course, provide the B12 your body needs. Garlic is the other amazing remedy that not only wards off vampires, right, and common uh, infection, if you will, um, but also has been found to literally reverse the plaque buildup in your arteries. And there are references to this in the link that I will also put under the video. My favorite is pomegranate. I almost use pomegranate as a book cover. Uh, instead, I just love the Rom Romanesca cauliflower because it looks like a fractal. But pomegranate was found in an Israeli clinical trial to pull the intima media thickness back so that it opened the lumen up to 30% greater over just the course of a few weeks of consuming pomegranate juice concentrate. That's how amazing it is. I love talking about pomegranate because it actually cleans the epithelial tissue in your mouth when you drink it. And guess what? That same epithelial tissue is what lines your arteries. It is also what comprises the breast and prostate, both of which benefit profoundly from pomegranate. It has been shown to be very good for reproductive tissues, protecting against cancer, and actually has independent anti-cancer activity. To look at those studies, we have several hundred of them on the pomegranate database on Green Med Info. You have fermented cabbage, would you believe it? Kimchi, I'm half Korean, I love kimchi, has been found to have, at least in the animal model, the ability to prevent um, the buildup of the arteries and start to reverse it, buildup of plaque. I love arginine and citrulline, actually, which is very prominent in watermelon because it helps to increase nitric oxide and dilate the blood vessels. So in one animal study, they found a 24% reduction in arterial thickness after using arginine. There's a number of other studies you can look at on Greenman Info concerning this compound. One mechanism, it's like eating chocolate. It helps to increase nitric oxide in the blood vessels, which dilates them fully and addresses what's known as endothelial dysfunction, which is the first stage of heart disease when the blood vessels just are not opening or closing adequately to uh, accommodate fluctuations in blood pressure. Of course, of course, we have turmeric, another incredible compound. We have over 3,000 studies on Greenman Info showing its benefits. One of those studies actually is on curcumin 
reproducing the benefits associated with exercise. So simply consuming curcumin in this one study was found to confer cardiovascular benefits equivalent to exercise. Now, sometimes they don't like telling people that because in their minds, they may be like, oh, I can just cheat and pop a few curcumin pills. It doesn't work that way, but I have to acknowledge the research and it is very compelling. So one thing it seems to do very well is modulate the uh, hemodynamics such that it's, it's not an anti um, clotting uh, mechanism, but it does help to keep the blood flowing properly. And that's one of the benefits of turmeric. Sesame seed, another really good example. A human study was found to profoundly benefit markers for blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and there is research in the animal model showing a reversal of plaque buildup. So these are just a few of the foods that have begun to be studied much of the research is actually funded to get lead compounds for pharmaceuticals, but inadvertently in the way, in, in, on the way to, to get their patents, they end up proving the natural substance to be more effective and more therapeutic, which is why we created Green Minute Info, because you won't hear those studies advertised. No one's going to fund, you know, a $80 billion trial to get a proprietary extract of sesame approved by the FDA but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't know about the research, much of which was taxpayer funded. So Green Med Info right now has a huge database of research across 10,000 topics that you can access for free. In addition, we love to give away what is to me one of the best health guides on the planet, which is produced by a colleague of mine, a nurse um, who actually used the Green Med Info database to create this resource. This resource is 500 plus pages, it's free, I mean, we could be charging a lot for it. We're giving it away as a gift to you when you subscribe to our free newsletter, which is a very popular way to stay in touch with breaking health news, uh, new research on ways to improve your health and cultivate resilience, and many of the products and services that we use, myself included, to continue to be healthy. You can find them also through our newsletter. So I hope this has helped.